Harry, can you tell us anything about the Hankins? Uh, very unique. It's got like an anchor chain and an anchor from one end. Hold on. Windless. Is it wooden? It's like wood, <laughs> and then it's got three. You know, it's got yeah. heel and two sides. Sticks up like three feet ish. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, you know, if if you get on these wrecks that are too tall. If you look up, you can get the bends. It's a little known fact. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is that? Actually, the, the last time I went to the South Hankins, it was blanketed by a drift net. And, oh. Uh, We're not there, right? No, this should be the Hankins. As far as I know. Did you know that nobody... Actually, there was one we could have gone to. I haven't been there. Jeez, I haven't been there in 20, what do you think 30 it? years. Plus. Benson. Yeah. So Benson used to be known for scallops. Yep. Not anymore. Okay. Not anymore. And I I can only speculate on how it got there, but because uh, Benson is a big sailor, big yeah. big boat. And the anchor chain is spread out. Yeah. Did you ever see her rudder? The no. rudder's magnificent. Yeah. Okay. Rudder is magnificent. Huge thing laying off <laughs> on the sand. Um, the Benson had a propeller on it. And the shaft sheared off. So whatever was doing something hit reverse and it popped the wheel. Oh wow. Okay. So did you guys know this? No. So it we, we we brought it up. It was a three blade prop, bronze, 72 inch diameter. And we wow. brought it up. We floated it. Well, you brought it up. We brought it up. We recovered it. 72 inch diameter. 72 inch. Feet. She was like 1,200 pounds. Oh. Okay. Whose boat? My uh, The potluck. The potluck. Did you have a jib crane? No, no. We floated it up on the. Uh, um, there was a little bit of. How were you able to remove it? Well, we pulled it with uh, Main One's um, travel hoist. <laughs> and then we had right. we had a huge party. We had a, the do? giant the propeller pro party, or a great propeller expedition of 88. <laughs> 88. Okay. In 1988, we brought up, a, it was like, I think, 1,200 pounds. And the only thing we got left, um, we got a bronze nut. Okay, so we used to joke, it had a dome head nut on the end. It had okay. a tapered shaft. Mm -hmm. The oh, steel okay. well shaft was still in there. And it had a bronze dome-headed nut on the end with like a flange, okay? And we used to joke about it. We said, you know, you, you've heard of guys that have brass nuts this big? Well, we got one. <laughs> oh, my okay. God. Well, you needed one. It was oh, that big. one if it's that big. I always thought it was like a barge. No, no. Benson's a beautiful sailor. Her, wow. her rudder is, is something to behold. Okay, wow. with panels in it, something to behold. I never, copper sheathed. I never part, saw that. Like half her height is uh, the mm. rudder is copper yeah. sheathed. Magnificent. Mm. It, it makes the uh, Seagirt rudder pale in comparison. Wow. 115 feet, we brought up a 72 inch wheel. So we were towing it home, yeah. and a nor'easter rolled in. We were trying to get in before a storm hit. We were towing it home. And we started parting. We were using a line. I, I wanted to use limited the length of the uh, strength of the line because I was afraid I'd pull the stern of the boat off. All right. <laughs> so we were sitting. We had knives everywhere. If we were going to go down, if she started taking us down, we were going to cut it free. Anyway, we cut it. We cut it free and sank it with the uh, lift bags um, uh, in 60 feet of water. And we left a buoy on it and we marked it. And then my friends went out without me. I, I had to go to work. And whatever they were thinking, I don't understand. They thought they would go down. We had some big lift bags. They were going to go down to it and pull the lift bags off, carry them up under their arm. Okay? So they went down <laughs> and the lift bags went sailing off in, into oblivion. All right? Lost. So they lost the lift bags. <laughs> oh, fuck. So we had to go back and we did a we did circle pattern because the lift bags were sunk. Okay, and they had a lot of hardware and everything on them. And we found the lift bags again, brought them up, cleaned them up because they got full of sand. And then we went back, sank them again, you know, uh, sank them, uh, filled them, floated her up. And we, we had it floated so it was tight. Okay. And then we did one more check on it before we came in in the inlet. And it was good we did because we were almost uh, frayed through a line. We, and then we towed it in through the inlet and towed it to main one and pulled it out with the travel lift. <laughs> Where does that propeller exist today? Uh, it's scrapped. Okay. So, so um, Don Stewart, the elder, yeah, he bought it from us 
um, uh, we, we tried to sell it as a propeller. Yeah. It was an old prop. Yeah. And it was three blade. Nobody wanted a three blade prop. Okay. We tried because it was a legit prop. And then we had it for a while. And then his father put it as like a lawn ornament. All right, That's Don, Don Stewart the Elder, okay, he was a friend of us. He helped with us too. And um, what happened was it was it was like leaning up against a tree and the copper was killing the tree. Yeah. <laughs> so we ended up selling it to my stepbrother, Bruce, at the scrap. Oh yeah, he has a scrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had it for a while and I think he finally scrapped it. How many pounds? Uh, the total thing was 1,200. And then we had the nut, and we had a, a section of steel shaft. Yeah. So my memory was it was nine and change, nine hundred and change. You did well. Okay. Mm. And um, so it paid for half the dock. It paid, <laughs> it paid, it paid like two thirds of the dock for the pot log. <laughs> but we had a, we had this huge party, mm -hmm. and all the lobstermen, all the like we, as we called them, the willies, because they looked like they were all in a Willie Nelson look-alike contest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They, we had everybody come in. We had this big party. We had gone out to uh, the uh, Sea Hag and cleared um, uh, mussels, and we cooked mussels, uh, had blackfish, had a big barbecue at, on, on the North Channel, on the other side of where we're docked now. And we had this big ass party. And we had a, you know, we had a, I still got pictures of us with the, the prop on the trailer. We had a little flatbed trailer we were using. And uh, anyway. So we still got uh, the the nut is in Bordentown at uh, Don Stewart's. He, we've had we've traded custody, but he's got it in his uh, rec garden. And, and no lie, it, it's this big around. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And a dome head is this this tall. The the threaded portion is about that big around. Wow. Wow. It was can't, it was pretty cool. Can't get one of those at Home Depot. No, <laughs> unavailable in any store.
real crusty. Yeah, they were sitting right on top. I was going to say, you weren't digging for those. No. Ooh, look at this. He did some pulling. Look at that. <laughs> I got that. The whole thing you got. Yeah, well, I'll, scrap, I'll put that in the trash. So. It even came with muscles. Yeah, <laughs> a little appetizer. <laughs>